In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to work with Eclipse. First of all, locate the Eclipse folder. And then once you have located the Eclipse folder, double click on the Eclipse. As a result, the Eclipse will uh, be launched and you will be asked for a workspace. When you are in the workspace area, it's going to ask you, okay, would you like to keep this as, as your default workspace? You can always click browse and change the workspace area. But if you want to keep the same workspace, you can leave it to what it is. Workspace is basically an area where all your projects and files will be saved for you to retrieve at a later stage. So it's basically a project area or it's basically a repository area. So uh, let's click OK here and your Eclipse will be launched. And as your Eclipse gets launched, you can notice that onto your left pane you have your navigator pane in which you can see the already created um, projects within this folder or workspace. Now let's click on File, New, and choose Java Project because this, this is what we will be creating in this tutorial, a Java project in Eclipse. So you click on the Java project. As a result of that, you're going to get this window with Java project on it. This is where you give your project a name. Let's call this Java Project 1. And as soon as we give this project a name, okay, you click next and then you can see that the Java project one has been uh, created now you can click finish and now you have a Java project you can create your classes interfaces enumerators and some of the other stuff in within your project in order to create any of the items within a project you can right click on a project you can go to new and then this is the list of the items that you can create in the project in the incoming tutorials, you're going to see how, how you can create packages within a project, how you can create classes within a package, how you can create interfaces, enumerators, how you can create text files, how you can interact back and forth between a file and a text file, and all of those things will be covered in the coming tutorials. But for now, this is what your project is. Thank you for watching.